At Eli Auctions, they're taking precautions. It's expensive, it, it's frustrating, it just feels like there's no enforcement. Here, they place valuables up high and a padlock isn't enough. They protect merchandise with a 3,000 pound deterrent. General Manager Chad Eli says they have to. I'd say it's at least monthly. We've got to do a fence repair. He says thieves cutting through the fence has led to minor losses and major ones too. We've had two dump trucks and a, and a trailer and about $15,000 worth of new inventory stolen at one time. So this is pallets of new flooring. Even in the middle of our interview. I haven't found it yet. Employees say they received a call. Neighbors just let us know. Let them know it happened again. Oh, right there. This time it was hidden. That doesn't even make any sense. Literally an eight foot by 20 foot box blocking it. After moving a massive dumpster out, the damage came into view. It's constant anymore. It, it's literally a line item on our monthly budget there between repairs and, and loss. It's why he wants an electric fence on the property. You know, the chain link's easily defeated with the with a pair of wire cutters and, and the electric fence when it comes in, it's monitored at least. The city of Tacoma allows for electric fences in some locations. At City Hall, Tacoma's Planning Commission has been considering a proposal to expand electric fences into more zoning districts. Audio from a May 17th meeting highlights one commissioner's concern. I remain really concerned that this application would allow electric fences adjacent to residential uses, parks and schools with only one foot of separation, it just doesn't seem seem right. The Planning Commission handed down their recommendation, saying they could not conclude that the proposal was in the public's interest. Back here at Eli Auctions, they say making repairs is costing them and it is time consuming to fix fences like this. Tonight at City Hall, after the public hearing, City Council will consider the proposal, I'm told the tentative schedule means a final say on this should happen in August. In Tacoma, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.